Hello everybody and welcome to the next episode of Skyborn. In this episode we're going to be taking on the rest of the Gold League. Or try to do it. I'm going to use Adrenal Rush right here. Get on with energy. I'm going to use Preparation. And Commando Aura. I'm going to use Cripple. And Alda can use Straight Up Attack, I guess. Cyclone. Cause him to bleed. Use Called Shot. These Giga Behemoths are the force ones that use. You guessed it. Good old ability called Meteor. See the napalm. Just kick one of them out. Let's use that on Corwin. She's an elixir on Corwin, so he survives. needs to use Renew. Shockwave to make him slower. Preparation. And an attack. And oops. Crap. I was hoping that wouldn't kill them. Now Claire and, and uh... They're pretty far behind now. Master's Regalia. As you might have guessed, this is the final equipment for Corwin. 3 plus 8 MP regeneration, plus 1 physical resistance, 1 plus 1 speed, and halves his MP cost. Again. We're going to want to augment that as well, but let's see here. I have to look through a lot of the augments that I'm going to have to be putting on all these armors. This is the Championship Showdown! If you did not have your final class upgraded, they would simply tell you... Please, go upgrade your class to the next level, otherwise you would be uh, screwed fighting this guy. This guy is no joke. He's very strong. He basically has everyone's abilities wrapped up in one character. We're going to use Preparation, and then we're going to use Light 3 Crusher. We're going to use Called Shot. And then we're going to use a circle of healing. We're going to use Adrenaline Rush. Sullivan can use Inspiration. As you can see, yeah, he's very strong. Out of luck, but he died anyway. As you can see, sniper shot does not work on him. Better luck next time. Yep, I did my skills a little bit wrong there. Starters, we're gonna use mark target preparation. Uh, let's use Cripple and Shockwave. Let's use a regular attack this time because Light Free Crusher is too much time. At some point here, he's going to use that one really powerful ability. I think this is the one enemy in the game as well that he will always dodge, paralyze. There goes Mystic Saber. Operation. Let's 
regular attack. Adrenaline rush. Use Lazarus immediately. Light Fury Crusher. And then remember that unfortunately I did not use the preparation ability first. Let's use Lazarus again. Equalizer. I don't know if he has any buffs, but all shot. Paralysis. Wow, it actually did work. Um, hmm. Try silencing him. I did not mean to attack his core. One crap. Okay, now he's down a few turns. Expose weakness. Operation. Uh, skull Bash, maybe. Crap, she's out of magic. Corwin, please revive Sylvan. It's probably going to become unparalyzed this turn, yeah. Purple of healing. And this is when things get a little tricky. He just used Majesty, which means he gave us a ton of negative buffs. Sniper shot. Cyclone. Light Feared Crusher. Power Infusion. Equalizer. Man, this fight is a lot more involved than the... in hard mode. Crap, zero damage. Oh, crap. I'll try to try a. Phew, paralysis work. Okay, Commander Aura. He removed it in one shot. Okay. Well, we're gonna want to clean our um, debuffs off. Equalizer. Try to silence him, but I don't think it's gonna work. Operation. Another magic shield. That's a problem. That's a big problem. Oh, crap. Okay, Commandora. Thankfully, Sullivan took that. Rowan can just revive him. 
paralysis worked. Okay, preparation. Okay. Mandora. Simple healing. Heal up everybody. Uh Another ether on Alda. Power infusion on Eric. This equalizer, I don't know if he has any more buffs. Yep, he did. Um oh, Do a regular attack. Try to get rid of him. Fast as possible. Corwin. Corwin. Last hit him, please. Quick. Well, that did absolutely nothing. There we go. That's it. Whew. Clarid. Sullivan, and Corwin, and Alda, all leveled up. Amazing, that makes you the Reno Champion. Here you go, on behalf of the city, a gift for the entertainment you provided. The King of Spades card. And also... You have reached your ultimate class. Oh, well, you had to choose paths before, now you have all the active and passive skills the classes you didn't choose. Enjoy. Yes, indeed you do. We have Peacekeeper, Field Marshal, Manipulator, Shadow Blade, and Regulator. Now we have all the abilities we did not end up having before. First things first, though. We're going to want to augment some of our equipment that we have now. Dragon always here that I really want to put on Corwin. And, uh, I really want to put the Behemoth Pelt on. Behemoth Pelt or Rainbow Prism? I think the Rainbow Prism got pretty good stats. Okie dokie. Also, I think we have enough obsidian to make a better... No, we do not. I thought we had enough obsidian to make better guns, but apparently not. And with that, we have most of the cards. I think we're actually only missing one. But before we get the last card, which by the way is required for the last part of the Venom Depths, you can actually do the Venom Depths now. Which I would say was pretty good to do. Um, I like getting it out of the way for when you get the last card. You can just go back there and, you know, use it. As you might have guessed, since this is the last class after all, we are close to beating the game, which is really kind of a weird thing to think about. 